Good morning, Dave. Yeah, the full Board of Supervisors is expected to vote on this ceasefire resolution at their meeting later this afternoon. Hundreds of people are expected to attend that meeting and speak out. And there is also scheduled to be a rally outside San Francisco City Hall ahead of that meeting. This was the scene at City Hall yesterday when the Board of Supervisors Rules Committee initially heard that uh, ceasefire resolution. The resolution was introduced last month by Supervisor Dean Preston. It calls for the release of hostages in Gaza and condemns anti-Semitic, anti-Palestinian, and Islamophobic attacks. Now, at that hearing last night, Supervisor Matt Dorsey tried to add words to the resolution that would have explicitly condemned the attack by Hamas on Israel. But some people in the room booed the supervisor, gave his amendment a silent thumbs down. Others, however, who spoke out said they supported the idea and that it was an important thing to add to the resolution. There are three things that must be included in this outrageous resolution. Number one, lay out the atrocities in detail that have been committed by Hamas on October 7th in detail. They are asking you to move forward with a common sense resolution. They are asking you to support an end to this humanitarian crisis. Now, before the hearing, more than 300 healthcare workers staged a protest outside the hearing room condemning the war and the toll it's taken on hospitals, healthcare systems, and healthcare workers in Gaza, and the more than 22,000 Palestinians who've died in the conflict since October. Now, this resolution goes before the full Board of Supervisors today. There is a possibility supervisors will consider whether or not, once again, to amend the wording of the resolution to uh, possibly include a condemnation of Hamas in it. But hundreds of people are expected to arrive at City Hall later this afternoon before that vote today and that discussion. It's scheduled to start at 1 o'clock this afternoon. Live in San Francisco, Allie Rasmus, KTVU, Fox 2 News. Allie, thank you for that update.